Here I am again in the bathroom. Hey, if you didn't see that video I just did, I just installed a paper or a toilet paper holder and I put that up and it looks really nice. Okay, but this one, and that's on my YouTube channel, you'll find it close to this particular video. This one's all about installing a towel ring though. Got a towel ring and I went and I made sure I matched it up. This is, this is brushed nickel and the faucet was brushed nickel and the hardware on the cabinets were brushed nickel so always take a look at that before you get something okay you don't want to get an oil rub bronze one or a, a nice bright shiny silver one or anything like that try to match your existing conditions now we're going to put this where are we going to put it this bathroom is pretty small you could put a towel ring right there but see i don't, i think that's a little too close to all this stuff here Okay, so on this side, hey, yo. On this side, we've got the toilet. And I think I'm going to put the towel ring right up about here. It'll still, it'll be close enough for here. They'll be able to reach it easy from the sink. Okay, from the sink area. And you don't want to put it over too far because they could always put a towel bar. No, they could put a small towel bar right here. And if they do that, there'll be one, one towel here. And you could have a ring right here, a towel ring, you know. And if not that, look, there's no medicine cabinet in here. You see that? There's a nice little cabinet right here, though. But if you wanted a medicine cabinet, I mean, you could, you could put one right there, a surface mounted one. Or you could take a nice medicine cabinet above the toilet. They've got some nice ones nowadays. You could screw that right there. Or a different type of cabinet. A nice little pre-finished white cabinet with maybe a door on it. You can put some towels in there and a little shelf at the bottom. All kinds of stuff you can do in this area if you need the extra storage. Enough of that though. Let's get this towel ring installed. Now it's pretty self-explanatory, but the thing I wanted you to see here, you've got this little goodie here. You want to make sure you look at it and figure out, is it going to go up and down or is it going to go sideways? You know, funny thing, I've seen some things that go sideways like that. So you've got to look at the picture and not make the assumption, oh yeah, it's got to go sideways. And then you get it all done. You find out, oops, I should have installed it this way. Well, that's the first thing. And then make sure you've got all your parts. And on this, the little set screw, is on the bottom. You always want to put this set screw on the bottom. You don't want to install it up there like that and have that showing, okay? You always want to hide all of your attachments. So we're going to have it down, upside down like that. And it happened to have an Allen wrench set screw. And this little Allen wrench came with the fixture. Isn't that kind of cool? And when you're all done, don't throw this away. Save this, put this in your, your, your uh, toolbox and save it for next time. What else did it come with? We got to look, we look on our wall and notice it's wood. This is wood paneling and this is actually three quarters of an inch thick. Now sometimes your wood paneling might be glued right over a sheetrock wall. Let's say and your paneling might only be an eighth of an inch thick or or something like that. So then you've got to decide, do I, ins do I install it with just screws on the paneling? Or do I put the plastic anchors in? Now each one is kind of cool. It gives you some little plastic anchors in case you have a sheetrock on the wall or if you're installing on a tile wall. This is for ceramic tile insulation, but you can, you can also use these in sheetrock. Okay, make sure you don't poke the hole too big. And then you've also got some little anchors for sheetrock. And these are kind of slick. You, you poke it in there and get it started. Then you just take a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, fits right in there, and just screw this in until it's flush. But we don't have to use those, do we? Because we're installing into wood as it is. So what I want you to start getting into the habit, when you start collecting things, don't just throw these things away. These are ideal for wherever you need to do it. And then the plastic anchors, you can always use plastic anchors and the little Allen wrench you know, for your next project, okay? So we know this is just gonna screw straight in and there's enough 
see there's three holes there I normally it comes with two screws so I normally put a top screw and a bottom screw I'd rather not just put a, a screw in the middle in case this gets loose a little bit it's gonna start rocking main thing is is you get the screws tight and you want that top one nice and snug because that's where eventually it's going to start getting loose it's not going to get loose at the bottom as much as it's going to get loose at the top with people hanging on there and all that okay you just want to be careful though all right so we're going to take this up to the wall we're going to position it and we can just let's just do that really quickly right now i'm going to kind of hold this up where i think it should be and you know, if this is not your place and if the owner's here, you can kind of ask them, well, I kind of already went over that and I'm going to make the dis overall decision as to where to put that. Now, I could put it down a little bit lower. The key is you don't want it so low that it's going to hit something. Okay, I'm going to put it, I'm just going to put it about right there. Okay, I'm going to hold my finger right there. I can just put a pencil mark on there if I want. Okay. Now I can hold this up there. I can keep that and eyeball it. And let's see, how am I gonna do this? If I had a scratch all, and I wish I had a scratch all ear here, but I don't, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the pencil mark as the hole where I need it. And I'm gonna take a nail, I'm gonna hold that right on the pencil mark and tap it. And that's right where that's going to go okay now i don't even have to do the bottom one i can just go ahead and screw this puppy in okay this time i'm going to hold it up there i did it a little bit different on the cabinet the side of the cabinet for the toilet paper holder this one here i'm standing up i'm in a better position i'm just going to screw this in there you know, if they ever want to move this, they'll have to move it and caulk the two holes. But like I was saying before, small little projects like this are really easy to do. The thing is, is if you don't do it, who is? Now I'm going to slide this up and down and I'm going to position it right in the middle. In case I ever want to move it up or down, I can. I always like to, to get it so that you can still make adjustments. If I put that all the way down, screw this one all the way down, then I don't have any adjustment for up and down, especially if I'm doing a towel bar or something like that. I need this side up just a hair, that one down just a hair, whatever. Okay, so now I can eyeball that, and it looks pretty straight up and down. I could measure off of that with the tape measure. If you really, truly wanted to, you could do it that way, and line it up that way, and everything looks nice and straight. I can do the same thing. I didn't have a hammer or anything. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And that's just my set. I could do that with a nail set. I could have done that with a pencil. I just dabbed it right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and screw that last one in. Nice and easy.